What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, so we're going to end up today doing two tech news videos and I just won't release my news re with a review walkthrough type video that I usually do. Reason being is because when I went to Google I.O. meetup thing they had in Los Angeles, that took, I, I had to do my news video so early that two big stories dropped and that was the leaks of what the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and Z Fold 4 will look like. And then I didn't want to, there's all there's some other news as well to go along with that with other devices and I didn't want to get it all mixed up. So that's why we're gonna have two tech news videos today. One right now at 5.30 in the morning Pacific and then another one later in the day. Um, uh, the other thing I want to let you guys know is I didn't do a vlog when I went to the Google I.O. thing. Um, I did post a bunch of stuff on my Twitter, which is at Greggles TV, so go over there if you want to see some photos and things like that that I tweeted out. And also I tweeted out about the new Pixel devices as well. So without further ado, let's jump into the tech news. Our first story of the day is about the Galaxy Z Flip 4, a phone that is Samsung's best-selling foldable device. And it's the best foldable selling device, period. So far, the flips um, and the flip four is, I don't know, there's, there's basically one thing to be excited about and then the rest of it's kind of like, eh, you know what, whatever, it, because design wise, it looks eerily similar to all the other flip phones. So here, check this out. So all these, all this stuff is coming out from OnLeaks. He was cool enough to put out some really, really cool renders of what this phone is going to look like. And uh, he really did a great job with these renders. And the biggest takeaway from these renders is that the outside display is slightly larger. Now we also know it's gonna have faster charging at 25 watts, which will match its brethren uh, on the Z Fold side, as well as some of the older Galaxy phones as well. So 25 watt fast charging, slightly bigger outside display, maybe a little bit flatter display as well, like the main display that might, but other than that, really not much more. Still gonna get the double camera on the back, the camera on top on the display. Um, so again, not nothing crazy about that, but I think what you can take away from, from not only the design of what they're doing with this, um, but price, we don't fully know the price, but you've got to expect that it's still at least gonna be $9.99, but you know what? I'm feeling it in my, my pants and in my soul that I really think it's going to end up being $8.99. I think they're going to really try to jam this price down to the point where it's almost hard not to buy that phone over, say, like a S22 Ultra or S22 Plus, um, where you get this cool form factor where it folds in half or flips in half, um, and then you get an amazing price to go with it. So I, I think that by keeping the design pretty much the same, I think we're gonna see a slight price reduction as well. So that's my guess, could be completely wrong, but I, it's just what I think. But so far, what do you think about the Z Flip 4? Next up is about the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now, Galaxy Z Fold 4, I say it, you say it, we all say it is the most exciting device Samsung I feel like is probably gonna end up releasing this year due to the fact that the Fold phones are just so cool. I think they're amazing. And there's some nice upgrades coming to the Fold 4. And again, OnLeaks is, is, is the one leaking this information out of what it's going to look like. So let's take this closer look at the next Fold device from Samsung. So what we got here is a design we've seen before in other leaks. So it's, I don't think it's gonna look terribly different than anything else we've particularly seen. But again, what you can take away from this is that no S Pen integration in terms of like, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna integrate into the, the phone itself, which we knew about. Um, also, you're looking at the camera setup. So you have that triple camera setup. Uh, it doesn't look like you're gonna get a periscope um, lens on there. Um, what is that gonna affect? Potentially zoom features where the zoom potentially might not be 100X or might not be um, as good as some of the other phones like the S22 Ultra has, but the camera setup, like the lenses themselves would match with the S22 Ultra. Um, I'm, so I'm, what I'm guessing, and I could be completely wrong, is that we'll pr probably get S22 like camera f features and um, quality, um, albeit probably not 100x zoom. That could be wrong, but I, I think we'll still get a pretty good zoom. I just don't think we're gonna end up getting 100x on there. The other thing that I've 
seen people right I don't know per se but um, potentially you no know, laser uh, focus which would affect how quick it could focus there might be focusing issues but I don't think like the s20 ultra did but I don't think we're gonna run into that I'd be highly suspect that that would even come to that like them releasing another phone that had focusing issues I don't think it's gonna come to that so I think focusing I think will be okay but who knows we'll wait and see when that comes out but otherwise you're looking at a phone with uh, you know a slightly fatter outside display slightly fatter inside display but at the end of the day if you're new to this line you're not going to really probably probably notice much of a difference or if you haven't had the phone in a while you probably won't notice that much of a difference um, so it, it's really uh, going to be almost in a way kind of related to the z flip 4 in uh, in that you know there's some changes coming to it but not drastically completely different physically at least uh, there is a little bit more than the fl flip 4 in terms of it being like i said a little bit more fatter and a little bit shorter but ultimately uh, i think we're still going to see a price and there's the rumors anyway price is probably gonna still sit around $17.99 $16.99 at the lowest but uh yeah it's looking I, I'm still excited for the Z Fold 4 especially with better cameras um and a slightly different design it's all that's something I'd still be interested in uh overall and probably brighter, brighter display as well so there you guys go that's what we have seen so far the Z Flip 4 and Fold 4 which device looks better which one are you more excited about let me know in the comments down below and remember I will be back with more tech news some of the stuff that came out <clears throat> um, today or within the last 24 hours really I just wanted to catch up with this in the meantime so without further ado let's get into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that beat. first question from Shajil Shazad said would you prefer thicker and bigger battery or you prefer a slim and light phone with smaller battery I would rather have a thicker with bigger battery I'm fine with that I use a pop socket I'm, I want the thicker with the bigger battery. Matthew Morris says, I'm happy to see you review this, Greg. He's talking about the uh, T-Mobile service. He said, I've been considering trying it as we are a T-Mobile Magenta Max customer. My concern is jumping out of the Spectrum gig internet service with the 900 meg download and 40 meg upload fees, but it's pricey over $100 just for the internet, which makes T-Mobile home internet very inviting. My concerns would be with this working for us with all the devices we have. What do you think we have about 40 devices on our network and use the Orbi mesh router system. Devices include a few streaming TVs, many phones, ta uh, t iPads, tablets, <clears throat> ring cameras, a few smart camera devices. You're a big tech guy and I'm sure you have a bunch of devices too. I'd love to hear more about this. When do uh, when I do a speed test on my S22 Ultra disconnected from my Wi-Fi, I'm only getting about 100 megs download and upload. So <clears throat> the way, so <clears throat> it, it, whatever, if you have T, well, so you have T-Mobile, if that's what you're getting for T-Mobile speeds on your phone with, with, with 5G, that's probably what you're going to get with the device. My device is actually behind me right here. So that's, you might not work that well for you. If you can get speeds like I'm getting where it's like five, 600 megs down um, with, you know, 80 to 100 megs up, you'll be completely fine. I literally have like 80 or 90 devices or something like that connected to my network. Um, always stream, someone's always streaming something in the house basically or I'm uploading a video or um, we're playing games online or we're downloading something. Like there's something always going on pretty much. We use over three terabytes of data um, with just a few people in the house. So that would be fine. But ultimately, like I said, if you're stuck in that 100 megs down, 30 megs up, you might not, that might not be enough for you guys. Uh, but if you know that you can get faster speeds, like I said, four to 600 megs download and um, you can get the, you know, 50 to 100 megs upload, you'll be completely fine. You won't have any issues. Thanks for watching guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question and we'll see you down the road and we'll see you in a little bit as well. I have another tech news video in just a few hours. Peace.